Hello friends, welcome to this video about how to calculate the delay of a ripple carry adder and a carry look ahead adder. To progressively introduce you to the methodology, in this video we will explain how to calculate the delay from the simplest to the more complex following circuits. Exclusive OR gate, full adder, ripple carry adder, 4-bit carry look ahead adder, and 16-bit carry look ahead adder. Remember that the design of these circuits has already been explained in separate videos. First, we will calculate the delay of an exclusive OR gate. Because it is one of the main components that it is used in the other circuits. These are two alternative designs of an exclusive OR gate. Both representations are valid and equivalent. Whatever is the design that we choose, the output is obtained after three delays. This is because if we call delta the delay of a single gate, such as N, OR, inverter, NOR, then the delay is 3 delta, because the longest path in the first design is the combination of three single gates one inverter, one N, and one OR. And in the second design, the longest path is also the combination of three single gates, one inverter and two NOR gates. So, three delays. So, the delay of an exclusive OR gate is three delta. Now, Let's see how to calculate the delay of a full adder. This is the logic circuit of the full adder. As we have seen, the delay of an exclusive OR is 3 delta. So the delay of the sum is 3 delta. And the delay of the carry is 2 delta, because the longest path is made with two single gates, one N, and one OR. So the delay of the sum is 3 delta and the delay of the carry is 2 delta. Note that there is also another alternate design circuit for the full adder. This is the diagram. Let's calculate the delay. We can see that in this case the delays are a little higher. The delay of the sum is 6 delta, because the longest path has two exclusive OR gates in series. 1, 2. So, 3 and 3 equals 6 delta. And the delay of the carry is 5 delta, because the longest path has one exclusive OR gate, one N and one OR. So, total 5 delta. So, the delay of the sum is 6 delta, and the delay of the carry is 5 delta. Now, let's see how to calculate the delay of a 4-bit ripple carry adder. This is the logic circuit of the 4-bit ripple carry adder. As you see, it is made of 4 full adder blocks connected in series. 1, 2, 3, 4. The carry bit issued from each full adder block inputs the next full adder block. So, because it is connected in series, each full adder block has to wait for the previous carry to be available. Also, each full adder block generates the sum digit of its column. As we have just seen before, we know that the delay of each full adder in his faster alternative is delay of the sum 3 delta, delay of the carry 2 delta. Let's follow the path and add consecutively these delays. For the first full adder, delay of the sum 3 delta, delay of the carry 2 delta. For the second full adder, 2 delta 
plus 3 delta, 5 delta delay of the sun. 2 delta plus 2 delta, 4 delta delay of the carry. 4 delta plus 3 delta, 7 delta delay of the sun. 4 delta plus 2 delta, 6 delta delay of the carry. 6 delta plus 3 delta, 9 delta delay of the sun, 6 delta plus 2 delta, 8 delta delay of the carry. At this point, the sum is completed. So, delay of the sum, 3 times delay of the carry, plus delay of the sum, total 9 delta. Delay of the carry, 4 times T carry, total 8 delta. So, as a general expression, we have delay of the sum n minus 1 t carry plus t sum. Delay of the carry n times t carry, where n is the number of bits. Now, let's explain how to calculate the delay of a 4 bit carry look ahead other. Remember that in a separate video of this series of videos, you can find the detailed explanation of this logic circuit. The total path is made of three steps. First step, second step, third step. In the first step, the circuit is generating G and P. The G is generated with an end gate and the P with an exclusive OR gate. So, the longest delay is 3 delta due to the exclusive OR gate. The second step is a 4-bit carry look ahead logic. As you can see looking the circuit, this logic is made of two levels, the N and the OR. So, the delay is 1, 2, the delay is 2 delta. The third step is made by an exclusive OR gate to logically combine the carries and the propagate signals. So the delay is 3 delta due to the exclusive OR gate. Adding the steps we have total delay of the sum 3 delta plus 2 delta plus 3 delta, total 8 delta. Total delay for the carry, 3 delta plus 2 delta, so 5 delta. So you see, after a constant time delay of 8 delta, you have generated the sum in a 4-bit carry look ahead other. Now, let's see how to calculate the delay of a carry look ahead other bigger of 4 bits, that means 16 bits or more. As we have seen in a previous video, to make the design of a carry look ahead other bigger of 4 bits, we have two alternatives, ripple cascading design and two level design. Let's see the delay of each alternative for the case of 16 bits so that we can decide which is the fastest. So, let's see first how much delay it will take to make a sum with a 16-bit carry look ahead other using the ripple cascading design. This design, as we have seen in the previous video, is made with four steps. In the first step, a 4-bit carry look ahead other is generating C4 after 5 delta because 5 delta is the delay of the carry in a 4-bit carry look ahead other. In the second step, the next block generates C8 after 5 delta more, so 10 delta. The third block generates C12 after 5 delta more, so 15 delta. The fourth block generates C16 after 5 delta more, so 20 delta. And the sums S12, S15, it will be issued after 3 delta more from here, so 18 delta. So, 
total delay for issuing the last set of sums, 3 times 5 delta plus 3 delta. So, after 18 delta. And the total delay for issuing the last carry out C16, it's 4 times 5 delta, that means 20 delta. The reason behind all this is because every carry look ahead block can issue the four sum bits in parallel, but the carry for each new block will only be generated after the previous carries are generated. So you will have to wait that time for the successive carries C4, C8, C12 and C16 to be generated. So in this design, the carry propagation between modules is still slowing down the other. Now, Let's see how much delay it will take to make a sum with a 16-bit carry look ahead other using the two-level design. In this design, as we have seen in the previous video, 4-bit carry look ahead blocks are used at the first level, but the carry for each block is generated at the second level using the carry look ahead logic. Once the carries C4, C8, C12 are issued in parallel from the second level, the overall chain progress to the first level. So, basically, the carry look-ahead logic is implemented in two levels. As we learned from previous slides, the delay of the sum in each 4-bit carry look-ahead module is 8 delta, but if the G and P are ready, then there is only 3 delta, and the delay of the carry is 5 delta, but if the G and P's are ready, then there is only 2 delta. This means that 5 delta is only for the first block of other, because for the following, the GNP signals are already issued and waiting for the carry to come, so its new carry takes only 2 delta more. So we can calculate the delay for the sum and for the carry after each step. In blue, there are the values. So in summary, we have. Total delay for the sum, 12 delta. Total delay for the carry, 14 delta. So, as you can see, this 16-bit two-level design is one and a half times faster than the 16-bit ripple cascading design. Also, if we compare this design with a 16-bit series ripple carry other, then it is four times faster. This is a table summarizing the results obtained. You can see by yourself the relative speed of each other. In relation to their complexity, the two-level design is the fastest to generate the sum result. Following is a table of a delay comparison between a ripple carry other and a carry look ahead other. As you see in the table, for the ripple carry other, as the number of bits increase, the delay increases rapidly because it works in series. But for the carry look ahead other, thanks to work in parallel, the increase is much less and remains more or less in the same order below 16 delta. In summary, ripple carry other overall delay is proportional to the number of stages, so their delay increases rapidly. With the carry look ahead strategy, the sum do not have to wait for the successive carries to be generated. The carry look ahead strategy can be applied at different levels to increase parallel performance. And as the number of n bit increases, the two level carry look ahead other has the advantage that the delay increase is much less and it remains more or less in the same order. 
I hope also that on the way along this video you learn how to calculate the delay of a logic circuit and how to compare their performance to select the fastest. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a nice day. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.